Hi guys! Hi! Welcome to my channel, Everyday Useful Nuggets. I'm Tatiana. Um, this, today's short video is about how to create your own artwork for your presentation CDs. I, I have a screen recording program and I will record the process of uh, using a program that helps you to create CD front, CD back and also helps you to print on the CD itself. So I was looking for a program that would um, allow me to print on CD as well as print the case for the CD, the jewel case. And I have found a program which is free. It's called Disketch Disk Label Software. It is free for non-commercial use only. I'm going to try and record screen here to add to this video um, because I also have got a screen recorder program which is great. So let's see how it works. There are various programs and software that can help you create your very own unique CD cover for your projects using your own photos, graphics and, um, and text. In this short video I will show you how to use the Disketch disk label software that I have downloaded from the internet and which is free for personal or non-commercial use. I found this software very simple, user-friendly and easy to navigate. Download it. Here's the icon. Double click on the icon. Select Certify this program is being used for non-commercial home use only and create a new project. The projects that this program can help with is um, CD and case on generic paper, DVD and case on generic paper, Blu-ray disc, direct to disc. In our case for our project, we shall choose the top tab CD and case on generic paper. When you click, um, double click on, uh, on that, you will first see the image of the CD. Um, today for my project um, I will be creating back and front covers for a CD jewel case. I will not be printing directly onto CD. You must um, have a CD enabled printer and also CD that has a printable top surface. Otherwise the, the colors or ink will not stick to the CD. It won't dry even overnight. I've done it. The image just smudges and runs <clears throat> and you mark everything in the process the fingertips that they, it is difficult to remove the, the color so don't be tempted to print on the CDs that do not have printable uh, surface um, I, I, I have ordered some printable CDs they are coming this week so I will make a, a short video how to print directly onto CD when they arrive we click on standard CD case front and um, we see a double page or what looks like a double page. Um, there are several tabs. We can add text, we can add images, clip art, frame um, or copy CD info onto this, um, into this space. In, for my project I'm going just to add images. These are my images and I will be Choosing the image of this two squirrels playing with a nut in the snow. It's very seasonal, um, it's not seasonal for, for now, but if you're making somebody a Christmas present, that would, um, that would work. Size it to the lines that are outlined to show you where your CD uh, cover will end, and then we add some more images. You can make a collage of images, adding several and having fun with them. But for the demonstration purposes, I'm just going to delete the hedgehog and I'm going to size the lady so she fits fully into our cover. Next is standard CD case back images. This is a 
curious image of animals looking into the kitchen by the look of it. I wonder what's going on there. Size it again. Then next thing we do is we save, click save, and you give your name, uh, your project a name. I'll call it tutorial. So it's now saved. So if I close the program and I reopen it again, open. There is my tutorial project, CDK front, back, just as we designed it. Next thing will be to print it out. This is my printer, Canon MG7550. Let's turn it on. This is an inkjet printer, which also prints on CD. It has this attachment which is specifically um, used for printing CDs. I won't be showing this today, how to do this today, because I do not have printable CDs. I have ordered them and I will make it a topic for another little video. Print Canon Yes, print. I'm running a bit low on um, ink level so that the picture is not is not accurate in terms of colors you can tell uh, but nonetheless it's printed out the back now next one will be to print the front this is our front again file print print And this is our front cover of CD printed. Again, the colors are not true at all. Now that we have our artwork printed, we need to cut it to size and fit it in the DVD CD cover. To cut it quickly and precisely, I use this paper cutter. It's not a guillotine one, it's a sliding one. But it does perfect job because there are a lot of measurements here um, that help you position your paper, piece of paper, absolutely square. Align it carefully and cut. Turn. Very good because it cuts even the smallest of um, of bits that you, you you need to get away from your uh, from your artwork. So this is our back and on the front. Fold this in half, carefully align the edges, and this is our front cover for, for our CD case, for CD jewel case.